Good morning, everybody. This morning's Mass shall be offered for the repose of the soul of Denise Hick. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Mother of mercy and love, most blessed Virgin Mary, with all my heart and all my affection, I take refuge in you, though I'm a poor and undeserving sinner. You stood by your most dear Son as he was hanging on the cross. Stand mercifully by me, poor sinner though I am and by all the priests who today offer the sacrifice here and in all our holy church. With the help of your gracious presence, may we offer a sacrifice that is right and acceptable in the presence of the most high and undivided trinity. Amen. O happy man, St. Joseph, to you it was given to see and hear the God who many kings longed to see but did not see, and longed to hear but did not hear. <clears throat> not only that, but you were privileged even to bear God in your hands, to kiss him, dress him, and to watch over him. Pray for us, St. Joseph, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who has given us a royal priesthood, you found blessed Joseph worthy to hold your only son, born of the Virgin Mary, reverently in his hands, and to carry him. Enable us, too, to serve at your holy altar with pure hearts and innocent lives, so that today we may receive worthily the most holy body and blood of your son, and may be found worthy of an everlasting reward in the world to come. For the same Christ our Lord, amen. My purpose is to celebrate Mass and to make present the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to the rite of the Holy Roman Church. With the praise of all, all powerful God and all his assembly in the glory of heaven, for my good and the good of all his pilgrim church on earth, for all who ask me to pray for them in general, and in particular for the good of the Holy Roman Church. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us joy and peace Amen to life, room for true repentance, grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit, and perseverance in good works. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord the God of Israel lives, whom I serve during these years, there shall be no dew or rain except at my word. The Lord then said to Elijah, Live, Leave here, go east, and hide in the Wadi Cherith, east of the Jordan. You shall drink of the stream, and I have commanded ravens to feed you there. So he left and did as the Lord had commanded. He went and remained by the Wadi Cherith, east of the Jordan. Ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening. He drank from the stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes towards the mountains. When shall come help to come to me? My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. May he not suffer your foot to slip. May he slumber not who guards you. In 
indeed he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your guardian, the Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard your going and your coming, both now and forever. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We see, both in our first and second reading today, God doing something when we separate ourselves from the world. You see, in the first reading, the prophet Elijah is called by God to preach judgment against Ahab for his sins of idolatry and unfaithfulness to the covenant of Israel. And after, he calls upon a drought upon the land, and God takes him to the Wadi Cherith. He asks him to go there, he provides Food and water for his life. Then we see our Lord on the mountain proclaim the Sermon on the Mount. So God, through the relationship of faith, gives us, in good times and in bad, food and direction, nourishment, and truth. And that's something that's important for us. How do we do that? How do we receive that which the Lord wants to give us? That nourishment, truth, that food and direction. First through prayer, praying daily, not letting our appetites and our attractions get the best of us. Having a certain sense of self-mortification, self-detachment from the things of the world. Also, through pr prayer, in the sense that we meditate on the Word of God revealed to us through Scripture and tradition, constant teaching of the Church. In doing so, we see our faith not just as rules or facts or something passed down to us, but a relationship. The Sermon on the Mount is the new law that our Lord gives us for the new covenant and shows us the Beatitudes what happens when we love God and love neighbor rightly? And what will happen in our own relationship with the world, interiorly and exteriorly? So we pray to the Lord at this Mass that through the Eucharist and our spiritual communion with Him, that He may give us the grace of self-detachment, 
to separate ourselves from the world occasionally so that we may hear his voice, so that we may be nourished by his word, his gospel, and that that word, which is not just proclaimed word, but the life of grace, may bear full fruit in us, both in good and bad times. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Look kindly upon our service, Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you. And lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, who is on the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who is on in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly, for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope, and Timothy our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For then we offer you the sacrifice of praise, where they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. We commune with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious of the Virgin Mary, the mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas. James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, Jude, 
Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, what our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and count among the flock those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, to your God as a mighty Father, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when civil was ended, he took this precious chalice and this holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, the holy sacrifice, the spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, to command that these gifts be born, by the hands of your holy angel, to your altar on high, and the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, life, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hoping abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and be so them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our deadly bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you, my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you were already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. At your feet, O oh my Jesus, I prostrate myself, and I offer you repentance of my contrite heart, which is humbled in its nothingness and in your holy presence. I adore you in the sacrament of your love, the Most Holy Eucharist. I desire to receive you into the poor dwelling that my heart offers you. While waiting for the happiness of sacramental communion, I wish to possess you in spirit. Come to me, O my Jesus, since I, for my part, am coming to you. May your love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in you. I hope in you. I love you. Amen. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished from the view. To thee do we send of our sighs, mourn and weeping, this valley of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. 
not for this or exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the most holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down with favor upon thy people crying to thee. For the glorious intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of St. Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed Apostle, St. Peter and St. Paul, and all the saints, in your mercy and goodness, hear the prayers that we pour forth for the conversion of sinners and for liberty and exaltation. For our Holy Mother of the Church, through the same Christ our Lord, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and humbly pray. And do thou, Prince Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking ruin of souls, amen. O Sacred Jesus, have mercy on us. O Sacred Jesus, have mercy on us. O Sacred Jesus, have mercy on us.